Hey friends, so this is um, a tutorial on how to make a glitter Milky Way tumbler. This is actually part two. So if you haven't seen part one of the tutorial, check the link in the description box. So the epoxy has dried uh, that's covering the glitter. I have sanded that layer of epoxy as well as cleaned up any edges. And I'm now going to start mixing uh, what I need for the Milky Way layer. The first one was some silver mica. I'm going to also use some white acrylic paint, some white alcohol ink, and I'm also going to use some blue alcohol ink. So what I'm going to do is basically mix some epoxy um, off camera. I'm going to need probably about 40 mLs. I have um, a little cup for each color of epoxy. I'm gonna put just a very little bit of the paint into one cup, that's like two little squirts. And then I'm gonna put some epoxy in there and I'm gonna do the same thing with each color. So you see I put two little squirts of white acrylic paint. I'm now going to mix some epoxy into that. Um, I probably have about 60 mLs of epoxy in my cup because I need to uh, split this off into each little cup that I'm gonna use for a different color. Now I'm going to take some silver mica and I'm going to put some of that into a little cup. Probably just about, um, maybe about a pinky nail's worth of uh, silver mica into a little cup. And then I'm going to also mix some epoxy in with the silver mica. So next up, I'm going to take some light blue alcohol ink, put two to three drops of it in a little mixing cup. And this one I'm also going to end up mixing uh, just a very little bit of white alcohol ink as well. So I put both the alcohol inks in the little cup, pour some epoxy in it and just mix and then set that off to the side and then I'll mix another color.
lastly I'm going to take some dark blue alcohol ink put a few drops of it in a little mixing cup and then add some epoxy to that as well mix that up really good with a toothpick or a popsicle stick and then set that off to the side Now I'm going to take the remaining uh, clear epoxy that I had left in my cup and I'm just going to pour that on the tumbler so I can give myself kind of like a slip layer. So when I do start to do the Milky Way design, um, it will have something to kind of slip and slide on and move around with. So this layer of epoxy that I'm laying down now, it doesn't have to be the thickest layer, it just has to be something for the uh, Milky Way layers to um, react to basically. And so I'm just gonna put my leftover epoxy um, on the cup. Again, I mixed probably about 60 mLs. That gave me enough to split off into the four or five colors that I'm gonna use and then have a little extra for the cup itself. Here I'm just using the heat gun just to get the epoxy moving a little bit on the cup as well as uh, get rid of any air bubbles that I had because I mixed my epoxy too fast. So just go over it quickly with the heat gun enough where you can see that the epoxy is moving and that you can see that there are no uh, more little bubbles. Okay, so the first color I'm going to use to start the Milky Way design is white. I'm taking a popsicle stick and I'm just going to dip it in the cup of white mixture that I have. It's uh, acrylic ink, I'm sorry, it's white acrylic paint and then it's uh, epoxy that I mix. So I'm just going to take my popsicle stick and I'm going to just trace along where the colors meet in the same spiral design that I use to lay out the glitters to begin with. So this is a very easy process. You cannot mess it up. Just continue to dip your stick into your epoxy mixture and put as much or as little um, of that color that you want in any design. It's kind of uh, better if you do follow design, it's the layout that you did for the glitter so that when you do have the Milky Way uh, swirl effect, it kind of follows the same pattern as the glitter. So again, I'm just taking my popsicle stick dipping it in my white color and kind of tracing along the lines of where the colors uh, meet and, and uh, change it to another color. So just do this as much as you feel comfortable doing it. Again, you can't really mess it up. It's, it's a personal preference. Once everything swirls together, it's all going to look very nice. So uh, just do it to your heart's content.
Now I'm going to go in with the silver uh, mica mixture that we made. And I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to now lay the silver down right next to the white, um, uh, the white mixture um, that we laid out first. So you can even overlap it as it starts to swirl and the color starts to overlap. It makes a really cool effect. So um, again, just use as much or as little of each color that you like. So here, as you can see, I'm just using my popsicle stick to lay down the silver epoxy and mica mixture right on top of or right next to where I laid the white epoxy and acrylic paint mixture. And so it's following the same kind of spiral swirl design from the glitter and from the first set of uh, Milky Way lines that we put down. And I'm just going in with my light blue epoxy and um, alcohol ink mixture. Just laying it down either right next to or in some cases right on top of the white and silver. So you just take your popsicle stick and you uh, use it to kind of lay down the uh, just a stripe of the epoxy mix. And I'm doing the same thing here with the darker blue mixture that I made. So. Again, you can't really mess it up. You can use as little or as much of each color as you like and in any design, but I recommend trying to follow the same pattern that you laid the glitter out in. So once I have finished uh, using my popsicle stick and just laying out all of my colors, you can see it's been spinning for some time because we went through five different colors, four or five different colors. And as it starts to swirl, you can see it start to take the Milky Way effect. And so basically what you're going to do is just um, continue to manipulate it how you feel best. So if you want to take your popsicle stick and, you know, go in and kind of move some lines around or swirl things a little bit more just do that but then you let it dry uh, this is my dry tumbler I let it dry overnight um, at least eight hours because that is a lot of epoxy that you put on there and then from there uh, the next morning after it's dried I have went in with my exacto knife and my um, sandpaper and I cleaned up around the cup the same way I did the first time so that means that I use this the sandpaper to sand any rough spots and I use the exacto knife to just clean up any thick epoxy that I had around the rim of my cup 
and right now you see that I am measuring my cup to try to best see um, where I should put my decal and how big my decal should be. So once I have put on my decals that I cut with my Cricut machine, I have put another thin layer of epoxy just to seal in those decals and I let that um, dry for as long as possible but for a minimum of eight hours. Um, and then from there, you will be finished. So you'll see me make some epoxy off screen. I'll put that epoxy on again just to cover up that decal to make sure um, it stays. And then from there, we will be done. So after this cup has dried for at least eight hours, this is the final product. I did make a little keychain and a custom card to go on it, but I think it turned out really, really well. Thank you so much for watching and please rate, comment, and subscribe.